Hello everybody, Dick Pig here and welcome to another interior showcase video. Today we're going to be going over all the science labs and the two times one size with every manufacturer, starting with the Tayo Astroneering. We're going to start with this beautiful little sitting area here over on the left, moving to this little like centrifuge area with a display up top with a beautiful little picture here that some kid drew, which is actually way better than some of the other kid drawings in this game, so I don't know who that one's from or they got a lot better over time. A nice beautiful table over here with a little computer screen over the top, which is really nice. You got equipment right here. All these science labs are very cramped up. I like this computer console here. It's almost like a place where you could do like outside sensor equipment and scans on things without having to rely on like the cockpit or anything like that. You have a nice little survey data screen up here with a nice little desk to fill out all your paperwork. Then you have a beautiful little like workstation over here for actually doing your scientific lab. This lab is overall, I think, very well balanced for just like having one or two scientists in here doing their thing each having their own workstation, each area being very separate and dedicated out to specific tasks and use. Now we're going to head up here into the Hope Tech, which uses the exact same layout as the Tayo, just slightly different coloring. You have the exact same layout up top here with the tables, the equipment, the scanner thing over there, the disc, just all exactly the same, the slightly different color scheme, and both have this uh, chair that has sentimental value to you, because I don't know why else you would keep that around. It's a beautiful little whiteboard. Now heading up into the Nova Galactic, we're going to start off here with this little table in the corner. It's very bright in here, which is quite nice for a lab. You've got this little corner table over here with a cactus on it. Just a bunch of empty space. You oddly enough have a kitchenette in this science unit, which I don't know why you need a kitchenette in here. I'd rather see more like research computer screens or technology because I think it's missing in this one. You have this very interesting little mid station here with computers at each end, like observing this dude working in the middle or something. I got a little desk for filling out paperwork with no actual chair. You have two empty lockers, which are interior directors, can fill up with stuff. You have a nice little lab over here to do some more workout with a beautiful little fan. I love the fans in the Nova Galactics. Uh, then you just have a lot of empty, wasted space in my mind. I mean, really good for putting connectors here to not interfere with other modules. This could be your sacrifice one, like your T or something, because there's tons and tons of room in here to uh, just connect things without removing furniture. Now we're going to head on up into the Stroud Eklund, which you'll see is way more like a pharmaceutical counter stuff. You have these little bays over here with these science labs with little dividers and they kind of mimic each other. It seems like more like a place where you would fill out like small samples, put things in tubes, do small chemical experience on, experiments on things, and then you'd take it to a bigger lab to do more in detailed like surveys and stuff because there's no computer screens in here that really do anything you just have your research lab and your pharmaceutical station overall it's like it would be a nice place to be it looks more sterile than other places but like i think it's missing a lot of the equipment that like the stra like the hope tech is and stuff personally it's my take on this one now we're gonna move up into the demos which follows the exact same layout as the stroud eckland and see here it's these exact same bays up here with the ceiling almost identical just a much whiter version instead of the blue, darker one. And you get two uh, lockers down here, which I believe are empty. Yep, so all your interior decorators can fill these out to your heart's content. Now, which one's my favorite? Well, I'm kind of torn here because like the Tayos, I really like their whole environment. It's a little bit cramped, but it feels like you have everything you need to run a science lab on a small ship. Where the Nova Galactics, it's like kind of wasted space with your kitchenette. And you're missing a few things here and there and it just seems a little bit more mishmashed and there's like some open space at the end feels kind of lackluster then you get the stroud echelons which like if you're just going out to collect samples and do small experiments and bring them home this wouldn't be a bad lab to work in but there's just a lack of technology in here to actually run samples and do more detailed work on the fly out here like so I guess I'm gonna have to maybe go with Tayo or Hope Tech for the first time ever as a favorite in here. Let me know what your favorite is, what you're gonna choose on your ship, and I will see you all in the next one. Dig figure out. Bye everyone.